A car that never stops for fuel, never plugs into a charger, and still keeps driving beyond limits. Now imagine that car facing Tesla's most advanced electric vehicle in a challenge no one thought possible. This is not science fiction. This is a story that begins in Harare, Zimbabwe. A team of Tesla engineers quietly landed in the city for a mission they never disclosed publicly. They were not there to promote their latest car. They were not there to scout for a new market. They came for one man, Maxwell Chikambuzo, a name whispered in small tech circles, yet dismissed in larger global conversations. He claimed to have built something the world said was impossible. A self-powered car. A car that uses radio frequency technology to generate its own power. A car that doesn't need gasoline, doesn't need charging stations, and doesn't need the grid. For years, people laughed at him. For years, the media painted him as a dreamer. But the whispers never stopped. And when Tesla's private team showed up in Harare, the whispers became thunder. Because this wasn't just another invention. This was a direct challenge to everything we know about cars, energy, and the industries that control them. The challenge was set 1,000 miles. Tesla's flagship electric car against Maxwell's self-powered machine. A test drive that no media outlet was supposed to know about, but someone leaked it, and what happened next could change the future of transportation forever. At first, Tesla's engineers approached with skepticism. They had heard wild claims before. They had seen people talk about perpetual motion machines. They had seen scams that promised free energy but delivered nothing. But this was different. Maxwell welcomed them with quiet confidence. He didn't shout. He didn't boast. He simply said, let the car speak. And so the test began. The Tesla started strong, silent and smooth, its battery full and optimized. Maxwell's car, on the other hand, looked ordinary from the outside. But everyone watching knew it was anything but ordinary. As the cars moved forward, the Tesla team monitored every detail. Battery consumption, speed, range, every mile counted and every mile told a story. The Tesla was performing exactly as expected. Efficient, reliable, but Maxwell's car, it just kept going. No battery percentage dropping, no fuel gauge ticking down, just motion, endless motion. By the time they hit the 500 mile mark, tension filled the air. The Tesla's battery was depleting. The engineers were calm because this was normal. But when they looked at Maxwell's car, their calmness began to crack. Because the numbers made no sense. It wasn't losing power. It wasn't slowing down. It was behaving like it had an infinite energy source. At 800 miles, whispers started among the Tesla team. Some shook their heads in disbelief. Others stared at their monitors, refusing to accept what they saw. The Tesla was nearing its limit. But Maxwell's car still glided effortlessly. At 950 miles, Silence took over. The Tesla was gasping for power. His battery was almost done. But the self-powered car showed no signs of stopping. At 1,000 miles, history was written in silence. The Tesla rolled to a stop. Maxwell's car kept going. And then, Maxwell turned to the Tesla engineers and simply asked, Do you believe me now? The media was not supposed to know this ever happened. But leaks have a way of finding light. A document a recording, a whisper, and suddenly, the story was out. Tesla versus a self-powered car in Zimbabwe. And Tesla lost. The world was not ready for this. Because if what Maxwell built was real, it meant the collapse of industries worth trillions. Big oil, battery giants, even car manufacturers. Everything we know about energy and transportation would be rewritten overnight. But was it real, or was it hype? Some say Maxwell is a genius whose technology is being suppressed. Some say he is a fraud, exploiting curiosity for fame. Governments have shown no official recognition of his work. Big corporations have remained silent. And yet, whispers persist. Whispers of cars that never stop. Whispers of generators that power homes without fuel. Whispers of technologies the world is not ready for. But one question lingers. If Maxwell's car is real, why isn't it on the roads today? Why do we still pay for fuel? Why do we still build charging stations? 
Why hasn't Zimbabwe become the world's new energy capital? Some say it's suppression, that powerful industries, threatened by free energy, will never allow it to spread. Some say governments fear chaos, because if energy becomes free, economies built on oil, gas, and electricity collapse. Others say Maxwell himself is the barrier, that he fears his invention falling into the wrong hands. But then came the shocking leak. A businessman in the USA had secretly purchased one of Maxwell's cars. Documents suggested he shipped it quietly through private channels. No customs records, no media, just silence. And now, that car is reportedly hidden in a private garage in California, waiting, testing, preparing, and the rumors don't stop there. Some claim Tesla's secret test in Harare was not a defeat, but a recruitment mission. That they wanted Maxwell's technology for themselves. That Elon Musk was briefed on everything. What would happen if Tesla owned this tech? Would they release it? Or would they bury it to protect their existing empire? Because let's be honest, if cars no longer need charging, what happens to Tesla's supercharging network? What happens to their batteries? What happens to the value of every electric car today? And what about big oil? If cars never need fuel, what happens to Exxon, BP, Shell, and Saudi Aramco? Do they simply collapse? Or do they fight back? History tells us one thing. Industries that control trillions don't surrender quietly. And that is where Maxwell's story becomes dangerous. Because if his car is real, then forces far bigger than Tesla will move against him. Forces that don't just suppress inventions. Forces that erase inventors. And that's why so many are torn. Is Maxwell a revolutionary genius? Or just another dreamer selling hope? The truth lies somewhere hidden in the shadows. But one thing is undeniable. Tesla's secret test in Harare happened. And the outcome shook those who witnessed it. The rest of the world is left to wonder. What if Maxwell is right? What if a car can drive forever? And what if that future is already here, but locked away from us? The whispers about Maxwell's car spread faster than anyone expected. Social media became the first battlefield. Posts claiming Tesla had secretly tested and lost to a self-powered car were met with instant skepticism. Fact-checkers dismissed the claims as rumors. But the details in the leaks were too precise to ignore. Dates, names, mileage data, even the GPS coordinates of the route taken in Harare. Someone had been there and someone wanted the world to know. Tesla, on the other hand, remained silent. No public acknowledgement, no denial, no press release. And that silence spoke louder than words. Because if it were truly a hoax, why not dismiss it instantly? Why not crush the rumor with evidence? Instead, the company said nothing. Behind closed doors, though, reports suggest Elon Musk was furious. Not because the car beat Tesla, but because the technology posed a direct existential threat. Think about it. Tesla's value isn't just in its cars. It's in its batteries, its charging network, its energy storage solutions. If Maxwell's car doesn't need any of that, Tesla's empire could vanish overnight. And Elon Musk is no stranger to disruption. He disrupted the car industry. He disrupted the rocket industry. But now, the disruptor might be the one getting disrupted. So what would Musk do if Maxwell's car really works? Would he fight it? Or would he buy it? Insiders say Tesla's team offered Maxwell more than just validation during their Harare visit. They allegedly presented him with contracts, huge sums of money, stock options, global manufacturing rights, but Maxwell refused. Why? Because he believes his invention belongs to the world, not to one company. That decision might have made him a hero to some, but an enemy to others. Big oil, for example, has the most to lose. For over a century, oil has powered the world. Wars have been fought over it. Nations have been built and destroyed because of it. And every gallon of gas sold represents profit for an industry unwilling to die quietly. So imagine what happens if millions of cars suddenly never need fuel again. Oil demand would collapse overnight. Prices would plummet. Shareholders would panic. Governments that rely on oil taxes would face chaos. And oil-rich nations would lose their grip on power. 
This isn't just about cars. This is about global stability. And that's why many believe Maxwell's car will never reach mass production, because too many powerful interests want it buried. Some even say governments have approached Maxwell directly, offering him money to pause development. Others claim intelligence agencies have warned him of threats. And history offers examples. Inventors before Maxwell claimed to create similar breakthroughs. Engines that ran on water. Generators that pulled energy from the air. Most disappeared. Some died mysteriously. Others faded into silence. But Maxwell is still standing and his car is still driving. That resilience has fueled both belief and doubt. Skeptics argue that if the car were real, someone would have reproduced it by now. That independent scientists would have verified it. That major universities would be fighting to study it. But none of that has happened. Instead, we have leaks, whispers, and unverified footage. Could it be a carefully crafted illusion? Or is the truth so dangerous that it must remain in the shadows? The story grew even stranger when news broke of a wealthy American businessman allegedly purchasing one of Maxwell's cars. According to leaked shipping manifests, the car left Zimbabwe under a false declaration. It arrived in California through private channels, and now it sits in a garage, tested in secret. If that is true, then someone outside Africa already knows the truth, and they are staying quiet for a reason. Because if word got out, Every government agency and oil lobbyist in the United States would come knocking. And silence is sometimes safer than revolution. Meanwhile, in Africa, the reaction has been mixed. Some hail Maxwell as a visionary who could turn Zimbabwe into the Silicon Valley of energy. Others fear he will be silenced before that dream is realized. Ordinary people dream of never buying gas again, of never worrying about blackouts, of driving across entire countries without stopping once. But they also know the weight of the powers stacked against them. This isn't just technology. This is power. And power never shifts easily. Tesla's private team may have seen the car drive a thousand miles. But the world may never see it on highways. Not because it doesn't work. But because too many people don't want it to work. The bigger question then becomes, what will Elon Musk do next? If he cannot buy Maxwell, will he compete? Can Tesla reinvent itself as a self-powered car company? Or will it double down on batteries, hoping to keep its market before the storm hits? And what about big oil? They may publicly ignore Maxwell now, but privately, they are watching. Because if even one self-powered car hits the global market, investors will panic. Stocks will crash. The entire foundation of oil economics could crumble in a matter of months. And governments, they face a dilemma. Do they protect their economies by suppressing this technology? Or do they embrace it and risk chaos in the short term for freedom in the long term? It is a choice no politician wants to make. And that's why so much of this story remains in the shadows. Is Maxwell's invention hype, hoax, or history in the making? The truth is likely a mix of all three. There are elements that seem too good to be true. And yet, the evidence of the Harare test is too strong to dismiss. Perhaps Maxwell has found a way to harness energy differently. Perhaps his car really does pull power from the air, as he claims. Or perhaps what we are seeing is only the surface of a deeper technology hidden from the world. One thing is certain Tesla took him seriously enough to test it. And that alone should make the world pause. Because Tesla doesn't waste time on hoaxes. They don't send teams across continents to chase rumors. They investigate threats. And Maxwell's car was a threat. The 1,000-mile challenge proved it. But whether the world will ever benefit from it is another question entirely. For now, Maxwell's car remains a legend. A whisper of what could be. A vision of roads filled with cars that never stop. Of cities without gas stations. Of skies without pollution. A future where energy is free, abundant, and untouchable. But legends can fade. And if powerful hands continue to suppress it, this story may end like so many before it. A story told in leaks, rumors, and what-ifs. Or maybe, just maybe, this time the legend will rise into reality. Because the world is watching. Because the internet remembers. And because the truth, no matter how deep it's buried, 
always finds a way back to the surface. And so the question remains, was the 1,000 mile challenge in Harare the birth of a new era? Or was it the last time the world will ever see a self-powered car run freely before being locked away forever? The answer, for now, lies in silence. But silence does not last forever. One day, the truth will drive itself onto the open road. And when it does, nothing will ever be the same again.